Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 11.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Thursday, 9th day of March, 2017. And this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. As we are doing this broadcast, we are looking at gold, which is just broken below 1,200. Currently trading at a new low at 1199.30, putting it down about $10 as traders still react and factor in the certainty, the belief of the certainty of a interest rate hike next week. And of course, our awaiting figures from tomorrow's jobs report. Low 1199, high on the day has been 1208. And as I say, we are under pretty dramatic pressure. On today's show, I do want to talk about our new levels of support now that we have broken below 1200 as well as resistance if we do find some support in gold. If as we look at it, we're trading off approximately eight tenths of a percent on the day. Silver is selling off to a much further degree down almost 2%, 1.9 in terms of percentage drawdowns, 32 cents lower at 1697. That is the last, that is just a little bit off the low of 1695 with a high of 1731. Interestingly enough, it is not dollar action that is providing uh, these lower pricing today as we have the dollar fractionally lower on the day at 101.96. So traders, with one trading day left in the week, we have certainly seen gold trade under pressure. Now, I believe for eight consistent days of lower pricing, the key about today is the fact that we have actually touched upon $1,200, which I believe still could or should be a major level of support. And the fact of the matter is, depending on how these numbers come out tomorrow, if they are close to estimates or above estimates, that could take gold pricing lower. The, the opposite, of course, would be true. If the jobs report comes in well under the estimates, that might bring into question whether or not there'll be a rate hike. So we'll have to see from there. But on a technical basis, this is that first key area. I thought it would hold the area of a about 12 11 that was this area here that was obviously not the case the market is broken the market is spoken and so therefore even the aggressive leg of the trade recommendation that I put out we were stopped out today effectively we are going in flat with the jobs report tomorrow and the FOMC meeting scheduled to start on the 14th current levels that I am looking at in terms of support and resistance, we still do have a major level of support. It's also a Fib Harmonics 78% retracement, and that's a retracement from 1178 up to 1265. The larger retracement, which is from 1120 to 1265, when we look at that, that also comes in, and that comes in at a 50% retracement at 1194. Now, if that holds, that's one thing. If it does not, the next real major level of support doesn't come in till around 1178. So on a break below 1200, there is a high likelihood that we would see market prices drift lower and drift as low, I believe, as about 1180. Traders, when we convert our daily uh, to a weekly chart, you can just see the damage that has been caused as this market came down from 1265 and that is just a couple of weeks ago however when we consider the totality of the rally this year and then compare that to the current correction as long as the market uh, trades and stays above on this sell-off 1180 we have not incurred any major chart damage and what i mean to say by that is we had this long market move down culminating at 1120 that of course was the end of last year we had one major rally and that rally took us from 1120 to 1265 now the correction that's in place even if it goes to 1180 if this area of 1200 does not hold that would be a 61.8 percent retracement of this larger rally and that is definitely within any existing model of a rally subsequent correction and then a return to rally mode and of course what that would entail is a rally that would take us above these former highs at 1265 once this current correction 
obviously is over. And we could still have a ways to go, but we are at that key pivotal critical area in which the next couple of days will really define where this market's going to go. And what I mean by that is whether or not we'll find support at 1200 or the market will drift lower to as low as I believe about 1180. Mixed bag in equities with quiet muted trading as we await tomorrow's numbers from the jobs report. Dow Jones Industrial Average 20,858 putting it up about two and a half points. That's not even a marginal or a fractional gain on the day. But as you can see, a very, very low range. And also, if you recall from previous shows, we have been looking for the Dow to fill the gap on a technical basis and to move back to uh, 20,800. The other thing that we simply need to look at today is the continuing decline in crude oil prices. Crude oil down another full percent, which is really not a large move in crude oil, but more significantly, crude has broken below $50 per barrel. So traders, as far as the U.S. dollar goes, it is trading fractionally lower, and that after three days of pretty solid gains in the market, you can see that right here, and this is actually defining an interesting candlestick pattern that we rarely see occur, and I'll try to set it up for you to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Uh, by highlighting this particular area. Now, this red candle that we are currently seeing uh, could be part of what's called a three-line strike in which after having three solid days up, you would get a red candle over the next couple of days that would cover the entire area between the highs and lows, in other words, all of the real bodies, and that would actually indicate an exhaustion of the uptrend and would be signaling lower pricing on a technical basis. Of course, what we would look for if that was the case is whether or not we saw the dollar index actually break below the 28 day moving average. And traders, we are looking at a daily chart of crude oil, crude oil down about a percent and a third, losing about 70 cents per barrel. But what is most significant to me is this hard break below these channel lines, which already were sideways to bearish. The really the overall characteristics of this market since December of last year has been a tight and narrowly defined range, 51, 50 on the lows, 52 to 54 on the highs. So you had this dynamic $4 trading range in which you really saw oil prices only able to move within that. Yesterday's move was a clear and decisive break below that. Today we're getting follow through. This all in reaction to an oversupply. So traders, as we go into the conclusion of today's show, uh, gold is still trading hovering right around 1200. And the real question is, as we await jobs numbers tomorrow, is whether or not by any slim chance we will see 1200 become support. We've talked about levels below that in terms of major support levels. We've also spoken about the resistance levels above that. The key, of course, is going to be the numbers that come out tomorrow compared to the estimate and whether or not market sentiment has fully factored in an interest rate hike, which seems pretty much a given at this point. And that, of course, would occur on March 15th. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.